U.S. officials indicate development could begin on missiles barred by INF politics. Under Secretary for Arms Control and International Security Affairs Andrea Thompson on Wednesday suggested that the Defense Department would begin research and development on conventional weapons systems. As Thompson suggested there were no plans to deploy those systems to Europe, a move that was also barred under the INF Treaty. Under Secretary, we Rood said that the United States is going They Were Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu also pledged to develop new land-based crews and land-based hypersonic missiles in the next two years, according to Russian state media outlet TASS. Asked whether the U.S. intends to respond to these developments, Thompson said, they We The comments from the U.S. and Russian officials are likely to contribute to concerns that the global arms infrastructure is crumbling and might be replaced by a new nuclear and conventional arms race. We Thompson sought to assuage some of those concerns by pointing the partnership between the U.S. and its allies on next steps and its commitment to non-proliferation. 4. But the long-standing concerns are driven in part by political currents many observers point to National Security Advisor John Bolton's well-known hostility to treaties he sees as limiting U.S. power and his dismissal of what he has called the Bolton was a driver behind President George W. Bush's 2002 decision to unilaterally withdraw the U.S. from the 1972 Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, which limited the U.S. and the then-Soviet Union to deploying no more than a single ballistic missile defense system. Bolton was once again in a position of influence as the U.S. announced on February 1 that it would suspend involvement in the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty because of Russia's ongoing non-compliance. And there is concern, he. Thompson said both the U.S. and Russia were complying by the terms of that treaty and said it was his. The INF's likely disintegration is just the latest development that concerns arms control proponents who point to Russia's decisions to modernize its nuclear weapons program and to develop the ground-launched cruise missile that violated the INF. They also flag worrying developments in the US, including the Trump administration's unilateral withdrawal from the Iran nuclear agreement, though US intelligence services and the United Nations say Iran was complying with its terms. The U.S. is also significantly modernizing its nuclear arsenal, a step President Barack Obama took in order to win Republican support in 2011 for ratifying the New START Treaty. That treaty the last the nuclear modernization program Obama began locks the U.S. into maintaining new START numbers of warheads for the foreseeable future, meaning there will be no foreseeable reduction in the arsenal, and Trump has doubled down. The Trump administration's 2017 nuclear posture review would fund two new tactical nuclear weapons, which groups such as the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists say could lower the threshold for using nuclear weapons.